What's going on everybody? Welcome to Views From Space. We're making a splash on this National Video Game Day with a look at the deluxe Scuba Gear Crash Bandicoot figure from our friends at NECA. The fourth release in the popular line that kicked off late last year, this version utilizes a classic look first seen in 1998's Crash Bandicoot Warped, while offering up another excellent version of the Maniac Marsupial that fans and gamers are sure to get a real kick out of. Let's take a look at the deluxe Scuba Gear Crash Bandicoot figure from our friends at NECA. Looking as though he just swam right off the television screen, Crash stands at 5.5 inches tall and features a unique head sculpt setting him apart from other versions released in the line. Dressed in his classic blue shorts and sporting his trademark wild hair, bushy eyebrows, and those wacky eyes, there is no mistaking which character this is supposed to be, as NECA has perfectly captured the beloved Naughty Dog hero in plastic form once again. Like other figures released in the line, this version of Crash Bandicoot comes to fans in some very nice clamshell packaging, which not only features the figure front and center within, but also bolsters some very nice promotional imagery along the front and back respectively. It's both a simple yet really nice presentation overall, and one that is certain to please all you mint and box collectors out there looking to keep this crazy critter sealed away for future generations. NECA's sculpting work has always been one to raise the bar, and the level of detail incorporated into this particular figure is no exception to the rule. Crash's body is covered in a very nice furry sculpt that extends from the top of the figure's head and covers the figure's body in its entirety. This fur is then coated in some transitioning shades of orange and yellow which do a very nice job of giving this already impressive piece some extra depth and character, while the level of subtle dry brushing present here allows even the smallest of details spread throughout to really pop in person. The fingerless black gloves are carried over from previous releases, joined by a rather striking array of scuba gear that allows this latest deluxe version of Crash Bandicoot to live up to his moniker in every possible way. There are a pair of non-removable goggles adorning the face, while a large pair of bright yellow tanks remain strapped to his back, and a pair of impressively sculpted flippers remain affixed to the figure's feet. There's plenty of excellent detailing to appreciate within this new gear, particularly the really nice weathered look applied to the tanks, and the fact that the rebreather held between Crash's teeth remains fully painted along with the inside of the figure's mouth. In addition, the flippers feature some really nice transitioning shades of blue, while the scuba tanks come sculpted into a very realistic looking rubbery harness, and the tubes meant to feed air from the tank into Crash's lungs sport a very cool yellow and black paint scheme that really ties the whole thing together. There are even a pair of bolts sculpted into the plate at the rear of the apparatus for an even higher degree of realism. Yes, NECA has not missed a beat here, with sculpting and paintwork being of the highest caliber once again. However, for those wondering, no, none of the scuba gear is meant to be removed. By way of articulation, the artisans at NECA have engineered plenty of movement within the body of this particular figure. Aside from points built into the shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, feet, and midsection, there is also movement built into the head. However, it is hindered a bit due to the inclusion of the scuba equipment. Despite this, none of the joints suffered from being either overly tight or overly loose, allowing us to pull off pretty much any pose we could throw in this figure's direction. Now, that being said, we will admit that there are a few minor stability issues with this one. This comes largely due to the fact that the flippers feature a slightly upward-facing sculpt which, when combined with the bulkiness of the twin hollow scuba tanks, causes Crash to topple backwards more often than we would have liked. Still, this is a minor issue at best, and in no way robbed us of our overall enjoyment of the figure. Plus, we found that with a little time and patience it could be rectified more often than not when it came to posing and display. Even the fact that there are no additional accessories included here can be overlooked given the fact that this particular version of Crash Bandicoot bolsters a lot more in the way of additional plastic thanks to the included scuba gear. And while we feel that this particular version may not appeal to the more casual Crash fan, we're certain it's a figure longtime fans of the franchise won't be able to live without. So there you have it guys. There's our review of the deluxe Scuba Gear Crash Bandicoot figure from NECA. What a stellar little figure this is. Crash Bandicoot Warp still remains one of our most favorite entries in the franchise, and the artisans at NECA have captured one of our most favorite versions of the character as never before. Sure, he's prone to toppling, the scuba gear does hinder some of the head articulation, and there are no movable eyebrows, but the sculpt, paintwork, and overall presentation here are just so good that we couldn't see ourselves without one. Special thanks goes out to our friends at NECA for sending us the sample used in this review. And thanks to everyone who tuned in to watch today and who continued to support the channel. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to purchase a deluxe Scuba Gear Crash Bandicoot figure of your very own, just click the link posted in the description below. That's it for today everyone, but there's lots more to come, so stay tuned. Until next time.